Infusionsoft and Appointment Core together uh, form a great combination for allowing anyone to schedule time on your calendar. Uh, and with Infusionsoft, you can coordinate all the interaction, email follow-up, uh, and a bunch of other things that just make it a very elegant solution. So in this uh, part one of a two-part series, I'm going to be showing you exactly how this uh, flow works and um, how we've implemented it uh, to support our Contact Us page on our website. So uh, let me um, go over here and just kind of do a quick review of how this works. Uh, we have the contact fill out a form on our website. Then what we do is the campaign uh, sends out a confirmation. So uh, that's an automatic confirmation that comes from the form. Uh, then we have the campaign sending out as the administrative assistant. We wait a little bit of time because you know administrative assistants aren't just sitting around waiting for a form to be filled out. So this sends out an invitation to schedule time on a calendar. Uh, the contact comes and uses the email link to select a time on the calendar. Uh, the campaign as an administrative assistant sends out a confirmation email and um, uh, appointment core sets uh, a Google Calendar or an Outlook Calendar or setup which we can extend to the client as well. So let me walk you through exactly how this works. So here we are on our website and I'm sorry I clicked on the wrong button. Uh, I'm just going to go over here to our Contact Us page and we have Contact Us forms in a lot of different places on our website but this is uh, the biggest one. So I'm just going to sign up in here as um, um, a bogus character. We're going to use uh, one of our test email addresses and, uh, and enter. That's our phone number if you want to get a hold of us. Uh, and so we'll enter the company number and uh, tell us. So it's just information they can share with us, explain how. So I'm going to submit my request here and this is going to take me to a thank you page. It's a thank you page on our site. And uh, it's just going to give you a thank you. Hey, we appreciate you reached out to us, uh, and we'll take a look at your request as soon as possible. Expect a response within 24 hours. And you know, our research has told us that the quicker you get back to people, um, the more likely they are to uh, to engage. Uh, if you take too long, um, you know, for obvious reason, that doesn't work. But uh, online people are, are actually surprised when someone reaches out to them that quickly. Um, so. Um, as soon as that happens, uh, we'll go over here and I'm just going to look for Fred uh, on the in Infusionsoft. We just created a new entry for him. And if I go in here, uh, you'll see that uh, we kicked off a campaign. And uh, we do a couple of things, but the main thing I want to show you is that uh, we send out an email co a confirmation and we wait 45 minutes. So right now, um, this is 1240 that's when this all happened and we wait 45 minutes to trigger off the next step because uh, again we want to send a confirmation for the form right away so people know the form worked uh, and then we want to wait 45 minutes you can maybe wait an hour and a half for the administrative assistance to follow up but because I want to get that going right away I'm going to apply that tag which is the one that sends out the invitation now I'm going to go over here to my email and uh, you'll see a number of, uh, that email doesn't matter, emails. So this is an email and it comes out from my email address thanking the contact for filling it out. Uh, we give them some message and this is our attempt to possibly have them opt in uh, because opting in uh, helps uh, get messages through the, um, the firewalls. So uh, if they happen to click in here, um, we'll just say, hey, thanks, someone will be contacting you shortly. Uh, but the whole point of that is to get people to um, to confirm the address. Now, by now, you'll see that um, we did get a uh, an email. Uh, thank you for reaching out to us. And this is sent out, again, it would be sent out about 45 minutes after they filled out the form. Just saw that you filled out the Contact Us form. Thank you for reaching out. We specialize in Infusionsoft, Internet Marketing. Uh, the best way to schedule time, 30 minutes is... is best way to get started is to schedule 30 minutes with George D as a company president, that's me, and then you can click here to see which time works best. Now this is an appointment core link that takes them right to my calendar and I've set it up in part two I'll show you exactly how this works but what I've done is I've scheduled time only in my afternoons because that's the time that works best for me and I've scheduled only one um, 
I one slot, one 30 minute slot a day. Uh, first of all, because I don't want it to make it look like I have too much time available, but also because I don't want to crowd all of my time uh, for this sort of thing. So let's say I, uh, I'm, you know, I approach the site and I click here. Now, when I click on here, I want to let you know I know who Fred is because I sent him the email. So I don't really need to share much else with him. I just need him to pick a time that works. So uh, we wait here a little while and then you're going to get a thank you page that tells you that uh, an email will be sent uh, with that time. So um, there you go. Thank you for scheduling time with us. Uh, and I got to do a little type uh, editing here. Your call with George has been scheduled. Check your email for a confirmation. So that did schedule the call. If I go on to my, um, now over here, to my calendar, you'll see that at two o'clock, it did set up a time. It is with Fred, as you can see down here. And um, um, so, and here's some instructions for them. Now, this event is not set to go to them because what I wanna do is add that as a, as a next step. And uh, so I'll go over here. Now Fred's email shows up in mine. So uh, at this point, um, appointment court tells me, hey, and this is, so this is addressed to me, George Diaz at Larry Jacob. Um, hey, you got a call. Here's the instructions. Here's the person's information. And if I wanted to add it to the calendar, I can. Uh, and then to the other person, hey, Fred, hey, I saw that you scheduled time on George's calendar. Uh, you're confirmed for a 30 minute. Um, a little bit of editing here. At this time, we, we, we specify Eastern time because we want to make sure that, um, that, you know, if someone on Pacific time doesn't mistake it for the wrong time, um, George, and then we'll call them at their number. If that's the right one, please confirm. And then we also say we can use a Join Me or a Skype. Uh, Appointment Core does have a conferencing system that you can use, so they'll uh, dynamically generate a, a conference line for you. So uh, as you can see, this is a, a pretty smooth way of, of doing this. Um, I am considering putting, a, actually I'm gonna be delaying this message going out so it doesn't come out quite so quickly. And now you have a pretty smooth step-by-step um, -step that uh, gets you through this. In part two, I'm gonna go into more of the technical implementation and how that works.